next type of indexes are less used i would say they are uh, they are called as geospatial indexes where you where you will use uh, geographical data like latitudes and longitude to fire queries like nearby or within certain radius or within a shape of uh, within given shape and these kind of queries are mostly used in uh, gis related applications other index is text index this kind of t uh, index is still in beta phase where this will help us to use the full text search across our document so you don't have to create different tags to find a document on given categories <coughs> then there are other type of indexes called hash index these indexes are mostly used while you are applying sharding so your shard key will be hashed according to some value and that shard hash will be useful to decide uh, or compare between two uh, sharding keys now we have seen how we can pro suggest an index to use now what is index selectivity so while define a compound index make sure that you are removing bigger set of the data in the first choice itself for example let's say you have a collection of people which has information about their gender and gender can accept let's say only three values male female and unknown and your application contains 10 million records or let's say 30 million records so even if you have an equal distribution of the record in your collection for gender if you specify a compound index for gender and then for name you are going to only use the indexes for gender to separate out only th one third of data that means from using the gender as a first parent compound index you will still need to look for the remaining 10 million records and then find if the second key matches to that records or not and opposite to this if you have created an index on name then you will be able to filter out most of the name and then those names will have to internally create another hash tree for each of these three indexes that way you will benefit from better performance as well as better selectivity for indexes now how can I know that my queries are getting really slow so MongoDB provides a default logging so you might have seen that whenever you start the new MongoDB server instance you can specify it a log file if you are starting as a service or you will get all the information on your console wherever you have started the MongoDB shell and that's where it is logging all the slow queries by default it's gonna log all the queries which are slower than 100 milliseconds so an example of this is MongoDB also supports a restful uh, co web console where you can see the latest logs from the MongoDB shell so this is the response of this query and here you can see that what was the recent query that was fired also you can see the recent logs I can see some of the slower queries being logged here so here it is almost taking 0, 0, 0.05 milliseconds here it's 31 seconds in the previous queries where we were looking our listings by categories 
it took 384 milliseconds here it took 1200 milliseconds let me fire on the query let's say inside the categories I want to look all the categories by sorted by travel so let me see the result again so you can see that the query that is fired which is to find all the listings for given category travel it took 105 milliseconds now you are seeing this there's this lot of noise here what if I don't oh, I want the freedom to specify what does slow mean because slow you you might be okay with the delay of one second or 500 milliseconds so for that MongoDB can let you decide the profiling options you can see different profiling levels in MongoDB where no profiling or only slow operations will be logged and two means all operation will be logged let's see what is the profiling status for my MongoDB installation so db dot get profiling status so you can see that <coughs> my profiling status is zero and only queries with which are slower than 100 milliseconds will be logged so let me set it to 200 how can I change it so I can use the set profiling status command to set the profiling status so let me set the profiling level to only slow operations and with 200 milliseconds so let's come here set profiling level with option 1 and I meant to say that 200 milliseconds or 300 milliseconds is slower for me Oops. What did I miss? Set profiling level. Okay, it's profiling level, not profile levels. Okay, I was able to set it. It will tell me here that it was zero before. Now it is. Uh, 1 and 300 so let me fire the query again if I do the get profiling status now I should be able to get whatever the level that I just said yeah we can see that now it is 1 and it's the, the definition of slower is 300 milliseconds so let me fire a query say I want to again look for all the categories based on travel and let me check the profiling so now you can see that this query is not logged as a slow query so uh, where do I see this profiling so there's a mongodb profiler that you can run to understand this slow query so if you go to the mongodb installation on my machine I have installed it in bin mongodb 
and here I can use mongostat to see the statistics of my application here it's gonna tell me what are the commands that getting fired what is the statistics or which is the insert query who is firing what kind of queries here over here I can also use the mongo top command to get the statistics about my uh, database so let me fire some queries which are really slow over here so let's say I want to sort the queries based on the popularity uh, the listings based on the popularity and this should have taken more than 300 milliseconds how can I be sure that it took more than 300 milliseconds can go and check so yeah it took almost 1500 milliseconds so let me go back to my statistics over here and this is where I was able to check that it is a slow query this is another way to do the profiling for MongoDB now let's go and see if you can improve your MongoDB installation and how you can use indexes to improve your application I wish good luck to you guys so that uh, you can use the same kind of indexing features that we have discussed over here in your projects and you can you should be able to optimize your MongoDB so now just before we close this session I wanna sh show you that how indexing is going to help again for all sorts of things like in here for here we can see that just for sorting it's it took me almost uh, one and a half second so let me add an index for average rating so the, my query that I am firing for popular is this one which is query with this category and then I'm ordering by average rating that means my composite index will be on category and then on average rating so let me go back to the mongodb let me ensure the index on category and then on average rating in descending order now it is creating an index for category and average rating and after this index creation has been done we will see how much time does it take to sort the listings according to the category and then the average rating okay so we can see that the index has been created and let's go back to our application and then fire the command okay here you can see that only the queries which are taking time more than 300 milliseconds are getting logged and that's why my query is not logged here anymore correct so what if I had an index compound index on category and title as well then this query will be faster and it's not gonna take that much time so let's add that index here 
or category and title it is building this index for another this 2 million records so I'll take a hat max 2 minutes ok now the index creation has been complete now let's fire the query let's say for sports now it was pretty quick without any delay it is displaying the result yeah it's pretty much quick now what's the result I'm not getting those queries here because now those queries are faster than 300 milliseconds let's set the profiling level back to where it was where we wanted to log everything and then we will be able to see how much time does our, is our query taking so let me set the profiling level to 0 and 100 yeah let's fire some queries against it and now we'll see that it will log everything yeah you can see that it is logging all the queries that we have fired and it is taking almost 100 milliseconds 130 milliseconds 109 milliseconds and million milliseconds so this way we were able to improve the performance of our application by adding indexes I hope you learn something from this talk and this would have solved a lot of problems related to the indexes that you might have encountered. Thanks for watching. Have a nice MongoDB indexing. Thank you very much.